Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 25, Community Portal Overview. The Community Portal is all about engaging with your customers and providing resources to the community that uses your products and services. The Community Portal offers some of the features that are common to the other portals, including discussion forums, knowledge base, and help desk. Specific to the Community Portal are the Ideas and Blog areas. The Ideas functionality allows portal users to submit feedback on your products or services, with the ability for other users to comment and or vote. Ideas are grouped into forums. At the forum level, you can set certain rules, such as who can create new ideas, comments or votes, as well as the type of voting, and the number of votes allowed per user. One cool feature is the autocomplete for ideas, which will display any similar ideas when a user is creating a new one in order to avoid duplicates. This feature is enabled by setting the ideas forward slash enable autocomplete site setting to true. The community portal also supports the creation of one or more blogs. Each blog supports multiple posts and comments. You can configure who can comment, as well as whether the comments must be approved before they are made public. New blog posts can be created within Dynamics 365 or on the portal itself via front side editing. Ensure you've added the desired web roles to the author roles relationship to enable the front side editing capabilities. One thing to keep in mind is that while this functionality is great for a traditional blog, it can also be used to satisfy other requirements, like news and announcements. It should be noted that both the ideas and blog functionality are implemented within the portal website code, so the customization options are limited. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 25 from Engineered Code on the Community Portal useful.